All right, let's talk engine. What kind of engines, you may ask? Medium duty truck engines. I'm gonna be comparing the International Max 47 to the Hino J08 engine. But first, there are some points that you're gonna to have to know. The Hino actually came into the marketplace around 1998. The Max 47 was redesigned for 2007. The Hino engine is put into all Hino medium duty trucks. The Max 47 is in all international Ter Terrastar and Durastar models. We tore down both of these engines so you can find out why they are unique in the medium duty truck industry. So let's go compare some parts and I can show you the productivity, the durability, the performance, and the customer support behind these engines. Let's start off by showing a component that is uniquely designed in Hino's favor. It's camshaft. The Hino camshaft is actually hollowed, so it only weighs 11 pounds. Compared to the Max 47 camshaft, which actually weighs 20 pounds. The Hino camshaft is a little less than half the weight of most of our other medium duty engine cams. This is important because it's a good representation of the idea that modern diesel engines are moving to lighter and lighter parts. In addition to reducing the weight of the engines, these lightweight parts also help the engine achieve better fuel economy. Alignment is our next subject, and the Max 47 ductile iron bed plates prove this. And here's why. The ductile iron bed plate is stronger even than CGI by an order of magnitude. The bed plates not only serves to reinforce the already rock solid block, but also integrates the main bearings into a single unit, ensuring crankshaft alignment. Hino uses separate main bearing caps for each crank journal. The more your engine is aligned, the longer the life of your engine, which ultimately means less money out of your pockets. Another key component in these engines are the connecting rods. The Max Force 7 uses a machine process called fracturing to create a very strong, durable rod. But what is fracturing? Fracturing is where you start with a single piece of iron, you score the metal where you want to break it, then fracture it into two pieces. Those pieces now fit perfectly together as if they were one. And I could show you an example right here. Each one is unique in its own way, having its own unique ridges and valleys. So the Max Force engine is specific, or the connecting rods for the Max Force engine is specific for that engine. The Hino, on the other hand, has machine surfaces on their connecting rods, which requires positioning pins to keep the surfaces from sliding around. As you can see here, here are the holes for the pins, and here are the pins that hold it together. And they just connect like that. This doesn't make it unique to their engine. Those pins do help minimize the movement, but not eliminate it. Less moving parts means less room for error, which makes the Max 47 more durable in this case. Let's back up for a second and see what all of this means. As we demonstrated, both of these engines are made of parts and components that are durable, have high performance, and are fuel efficient. The Hino is actually the only North American truck in the medium duty industry with an overhead cam, and it has that hollow camshaft, which means it's made of lighter parts. The Max 47 is, has the fractured connecting rods as well as the ductile iron bed plates, which means it's more durable. But when compared, uh, when the SAE tested these trucks, it came out that the Max 47 had 3% better fuel economy. We talked engine, we compared parts, now you have the education on both these 